am Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have my Ipsy for the month of March. Just my Ipsy. That's all I'm doing these days. Okay, so first of all, the theme is create this month and so the bag that they gave us is intentionally black and white so that you can color it in and they even threw in a couple of markers. And you know, I mean, you don't have to use just these but I thought that that was cute. I so far have only um, given this girl some blue bangs. <laughs> But you know, I still think it's a fun idea. So anyway, the products that actually came inside the bag. Uh, first of all, I have this sponge from Her Minerals and it's just, you know, your basic blending sponge. I've seen lots of this shape and this shape is fine, but I do feel like I wish the tip was a bit narrower down here because it, it still feels really fat going into those tiny areas even though it does have a tip on it. But you know, the bottom part makes a good base. My issues with this is that first of all, when you wet it, it does not get much bigger than this and it is still very dense. I thought maybe after using it several times that would ease up, but so far it's still very dense. Um, so I don't really like using it other than maybe for touch-ups. In fact, I took this with me to an event that I went to and I just threw it in my purse and I did end up using it after eating dinner and getting red lipstick all over my chin to do, you know, just a little, a little bit of touching up and it was nice and small, you know, I could throw it in my purse and it was, you know, useful. So anyway, we have two skincare products. This one is from Truefora and this is Triple Action Exfoliator. It has ground up bamboo in it for a physical exfoliation. It has both AHA and BHA to exfoliate, you know, deep, within like a chemical exfoliator and then it also has kale and clay which helps draw the impurities out of your pores uh, if you leave it on as a mask and you can use this either as a regular cleanser exfoliator or you can leave it on your skin for like 15 minutes or so and get you know a little a little mask action going there i actually really like this i thought that it did a good job it didn't have any sort of tingling or stinging which i was appreciative of <laughs> but i do feel like it made my skin really smooth and soft and bright, you know, so I, I'm liking this. I, I actually really like that. The other one is from Labotica and this one is a peel off mask. It has pearl powder in it. You put this on your skin and it's, you know, pearly white and you just rub it on, avoid your eye and mouth area. And then after it dries, you peel it up. I find the peeling process to be very painful. I wish that it wasn't because, you know, I like to, I like to peel things. It's, something satisfying about that, but it's painful. I just, I don't know, maybe I have sensitive skin, whatever. Anyway, um, I do think that it did a nice job and it has a, real, a lot of really great ingredients in it and everything, I just hurt my face, okay? That's all. This is from Ico. This is Lash Alert Mascara, and I really like the packaging on this. You know, I like the squeezy tube. I don't know, I just, I think it's a better way of doing things. I have one from Milk that also has a squeezy tube I really like. It has one of those bendy wands that are supposed to be great for curling your lashes. Um, I find this to be decent, but nothing super extraordinary. I have it on my lashes today and I just, you know, it doesn't like dry down and get crunchy, which is nice. So there's no flaking. I haven't had any issues with smudging or anything. Um, it does an okay job of curling my lashes and it, but it's not super volumizing or lengthening. I feel like this might be much like my Benefit Roller Lash, where I use that one as almost like a like a base or a primer to help curl my lashes, and then I use another more voluminous mascara on top of it. So I think that's what I might end up doing with this one, because I do like it, I just don't super love it. You know what I mean? And then the last thing I have is from Deuce. I think that's how you say it. Um, I've gotten several things from this company. I have a blush, like a peachy blush. I'm wearing that today on my cheeks and on my eyes. And and then I also have like a burgundy colored eyeshadow. This one is in the color Ariana, which is a brown. And in the pan, it looks like it's more of a cool tone brown, I, I think. But then when you actually put it on, it's, it's not, I don't know, maybe it's kind of medium neutral or something because it looks a bit warmer on. But what I think that warmth is coming from is like the gold shimmer in there. It's a really pretty color. I do have it on my eyes today. Let me zoom you in. I have the brown on the lid here and then I have the burgundy one more on the outer V and in the crease. And then I also have the blush in my crease. Plus the quality of these eyeshadows is really great. They really do last all day. They're nice and pigmented. They're just beautiful colors. Ipsy was actually having 
a deal on a full palette that I almost got, but then I was like, eh, I do not need another eyeshadow palette. But then they sent me another eyeshadow, so I was happy. <laughs> so anyway, that is my Ipsy for the month of March. Let me know what you guys got in your bag and what you thought of everything. I'm excited to color my bag. <laughs> I think that'll be fun. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.